from a fan's perspective, I always saw him as like the most believable form of a smaller wrestler because you don't even notice he's a smaller wrestler because he's so intense and he hits so hard. The closest thing to an equivalent I can think of today, their styles are completely different, but Ilya Dragunov on NXT and NXT Ugh. UK, where even though he's so much smaller than everyone, he has so much fight and intensity, you don't even realize it. Like, you forget it. So that's that. That's uh, my favorite now, is Ilya. I Perfect. Think Ilya is incredible, incredible, incredible. Uh, there was a time when I was working for WWE, and I was doing these NXT UK tours, but I wasn't wrestling. But they had me wrestle a match or two there, mm-hmm. and so it it became apparent to me that WWE was finishing up with me being a wrestler, and so I mean, I even reached out to Ilya. I said, "Man, if I, you know, if this is the way it's going to be, I want you to be my retirement match." Wow, that's um, really I cool. Think he's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, luckily, I'm not retired, mm. and, uh, but I still want that match with him. I, I think Ilya, uh, he's a human cartoon, uh, but man, I, I think he's the real deal. So I, I definitely see the, the similarity. Like this is a, this is a tough bastard. Yeah. And the thing with Ilya is, like, if anybody else tried to do what Ilya does as a character, and like, mm. it, it would, it would be probably be really corny. But for whatever reason, it's cool when he does it. Like, he, he's in there doing the wave to the music, and he's coming out with the jacket, and, like, he looks the way he does. Like, it shouldn't work, but with him, with everything he brings to it, it works amazingly. It just, it's it's hard to explain, but it's just natural. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. It's, uh, it, it's, it would be a mockery if somebody else did it. I, I think he's wacky enough to uh, i i don't know what you're talking about mockery you know i think it's all serious to him the red eyes are serious you know whatever that means to him like like dude that that's like the guy from roger rabbit like you look like the villain from roger rabbit what are you doing but he does it you know (laughs) and and he's a guy that man if i had to wrestle i know i'm gonna he's gonna hurt me like Mm -hmm. he's not gonna injure me but like he's gonna Hit He's going to smack me around and yell at me like, get up, man. Is that all you got? And I'm, he's, he, he, and I might not have enough. <laughs> and he's great. Yeah, guys, if you haven't already, check out this match with uh, Dijak at uh, the last NXT Premium Live event. The name's escaping me right now, but just great work. Great work. I haven't seen that, but I will. Oh, highly, like, oh, it was just really? last man standing. It was just intense. All right, I'm sorry. I should kind of stop gushing over other people, you know, but it's just... It's people you worked with, so you get this special insight. You know what I mean? Like when I get mm-hmm. to talk to you about other great workers, because you know what makes people great even better than the average fan will. Because the average fan, obviously, they can spot a guy and be like, okay, he's really good. But you've worked with these people, or you have this special eye to say, okay, this is why this person's good. So I always find that fascinating. Yeah. I mean, I guess, you know, it's all subjective, but I, I, but I would agree that I might be able to pick out the reasons why you know i'm i'm i don't know about music you know what makes the beatles so great i don't know i just like their music well i guess musicians can explain why you like that music maybe it's something like that i don't know 